Hey, 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 how are you, Fork? Nice to see you. Now I've got a fun investigation, a fun maths investigation for you today. You are going to become developers. I got a letter last night. In fact, let me go and get it for you. I'll read it. Okay, here it is. And this letter says, let me read it to you. Dear Mr. Roberts and the children at BISM, we are going to be creating a brand new theme park in Moscow and we are wanting your children to design it. Pretty crazy. Your children will get a budget of £15,425 and you can spend it in any way you like. You can buy all the different attractions and make it look however you like. The winning design, the one that we think that is the best, will be made into a real theme park. Good luck, enjoy. Wow, pretty cool. Do you believe me? No. But that is your chance. So, you have got to make a theme park. I have included some graph paper in the link below, so just click on the link, open up the, uh, the attachment and you can download and print some graph paper. If you don't have any graph paper, or you can't download it or print it or in any way like that, don't worry, just do it on any paper you can and just try and estimate what you think the squares would look like, that's fine as well, just make it look neat and make it look legible, okay? Now, as it said in the letter, you've got £15,425 to spend, and you can spend it in any way you like to create your theme park to look in any way you want, okay? There is a list of requirements that you need to include, and then you're free to go and add whatever you want. Everything has got different prices. Now, you can go around this in a few different ways. What you can do, if you want to, you can always just deduct or subtract the whatever you're buying off your rolling budget. So your budget will keep going down the more you spend. So you can just keep subtracting if you want, or if you want to include a little bit of addition to your work, then you could add a couple together and then subtract it off, okay? For example, if I'm starting with a budget of £15,425 and I want to buy a burger store, that's going to be my first purchase because I like burgers. So I'm going to do it, set it out in my subtraction, 15325 and I'm going to subtract 250 Okay, so let's work along, starting from the smallest value. 5 subtract 0 is 5. 2 subtract 5, can I do that? If I have two fingers, can I subtract 5 of them? No, okay, so we need to borrow from the next door, turn that 4 into a 3. We know how to do this, guys. Now I've got a 1 coming over into my 10s column. 12 subtract 5. 12 subtract 5 is 7. Then I go to my next column. 3 subtract 2 is 1. Go into my next column. 5 subtract, well, nothing there, so it's just a 5. And again, 1 subtract, nothing there becomes 1. So my new budget is £15,175, okay? If I now want to buy a wooden roller coaster at a huge £1,120, then again, same process. If we look along, 15,175 subtract 1,120 becomes 14,055 pounds, okay? Or what I could have done is I could have added my burger stall to my, uh, to my wooden roller coaster and then subtract that total away. Okay, so it's up to you. You can either do it with just subtraction or you can do a little bit of addition and subtraction. There is one very important rule. You must not go over budget. If you go over budget, you owe me that money personally and I will collect. Now, if you follow the link in the description below, you will be given a A4 template of, of uh, graph paper so you can put your things on there. You will see that there is the uh, price list of all the different things you can buy and the requirements of things you must buy okay to make sure it's an actual valid theme park you'll also see a description of everything i've just said so you can read it and make sure you're doing everything right good luck i hope you enjoy it it's a fun activity so make it look really cool you can color it at the end make it look really interesting don't be boring okay cool enjoy thanks very much